Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about how to get better gear in Sword Art Online Alicization like course. But first off I want to start by saying thank you for the most recent views. Thank you for the new subs. Uh, <laughs> it's great to have you here. So how you doing? Uh, but really thank you for all the subs. It's really inspires me to just get into this really more and all that, all the views and everything. Whew, it's some nice serotonin. So, <laughs> let's dive on in. So, first thing you could do, of course, is to turn off an easy anti-cheat and then go into single player and, you know, just have fun that way. This is, of course, just in case you you just play by yourself and, you know, you just really want to just have fun with it, all that stuff. So, that's one way. But the official way I'm going to talk about is by farming the mutated beasts. The mutated beasts are special bosses. They used to be, you know, on specific days, but now they took off that lock. So now each boss is available any and every day. So these bosses drop enhancement shards. Enhancement shards are needed if you want to upgrade your weapon past plus five. So... If you find a weapon you like, get to plus 5, you upgrade it all the way to plus 30. That weapon has improved stats, you know, increased damage, base damage, increased some stats like the strength, dexterity, and that's really all it touches when you do upgrade. Maybe one or two other stats might be touched, but those are the primary stats that do actually get changed. So, this way right here is guaranteed to give you better loot. This is guaranteed to improve your equipment. There's no possible way that you won't get better equipment. Why? Because you're upgrading your current equipment, so of course it's going to be better. So there's black shards, white shards, red shards, blue shards. Um, white shards are for armor. Black, red, blue are for each different types of weapons. So you get an upgrade. So you just go in and do the best one you can, so then you can get some, you know, most shards you can, and upgrade your weapon. This is a slow process, but it's you know, guaranteed for work, and you're gonna have to do it anyway for whatever weapon. Let's say you're coming back for the first time and you have a plus 20 sword, but it's an old sword, right? And then you get this, you know, extreme sword, you know, that you got from the DLC or something like that. Don't worry about that. They added a feature now where using memory coins, you can now use, merge your plus 20 weapon into a plus five weapon to make that weapon plus 20 so what i mean by that is i have a plus 20 dagger but i found this nice looking whip i upgrade the whip to plus five and then i merge the 20 dagger into the whip so now the whip's a plus 20 but i don't have the dagger anymore which is fine because i wanted the whip <laughs> so that's just an example of course you know you can upgrade whatever weapon you want um the most damaging build is of course the dual sword built but you know that one does require a lot of effort because it's two swords, right? Two swords are always going to be more um, resources to upgrade rather than, you know, just having the one sword and then going in on it. Memory coins are quite difficult to farm. You know, level 100 boss in the memory arena drops one coin. Level 150 drops three coins. Level 200 drops five. And I haven't even been able to attempt the other ones because my character alone isn't powerful enough. And... You know, really, you can drop higher level bosses from actually having a party, which really actually helps. So, next way I'm going to talk to you about is by farming. This is guaranteed extreme gear, okay? Newest gears that you're going to see, and it's going to look nice, and you're going to get some nice accessories from it. So, this way is by farming the Divine Beasts. The Divine Beasts were the free DLC that we got before, you know, the four that focused on Xenon, Alice, Silica whatever their those other people's names were so well in order to get this new gear you're gonna have to kill the boss quite a bit uh, online to say the least so extreme gear starts dropping at level 200 in order to get level 200 you have to of course start killing him from level 90 or whichever boss you choose it could be start at level 90 70 80 you know whichever one you decide to farm but, and it increases one level by one level every time you kill him. So, I killed him at level 90, he's now 91. Stuff like that. So you have to do that a lot. 
which is tiresome, yes, but at, once you reach level 200, you finally start getting extreme drops and some nice looking weapons that you can upgrade with all the shards that you've undoubtedly farmed. If you're, say, struggling a bit with the boss, but you can still kill him, I would say open up your lobbies to online play. Why do I say open up your lobby to online play? Well, because if somebody decides to join you and see what you're up to and they're a high level, they're now added to your party list, so, or to your friends list, which you can then in turn add to your party. So now it's like your party got stronger. Now you can do more stuff solo without the need to open online, but that's really just if you know, really desperate, but online play is definitely the way to go for farming. Especially when you're up there to the level 400 range, you know, <laughs> the chain attacks are much easier to do. So, when you're looking at all the new gear that you got, which you're going to have a lot because that farming takes a lot. The most important stats to look at are the attack and, of course, accuracy. Accuracy is probably more important than attack because if you don't have enough accuracy to hit the boss, then you're going to... You know miss your hits and the boss is just gonna one tap you for no reason evade and defense you know just blodge and do dodge Bl <laughs> block and dodge but anyways that's pretty much it for this video thanks for watching you know you could like subscriber you know if you want i do have a lot of views but i don't have to see that many subscribers but i am thankful for all the subscribers here so thanks for being here and um have a good day